Hello everyone and welcome back to the Craig and Dave channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's as hot as the core of a nuclear reactor because that's literally what we're talking about. Microsoft, the giant behind Windows, Office and yes, those clippy memes, is exploring something that could change the tech world entirely. They're going nuclear. Yes, that's right, Microsoft is investigating nuclear power for their data centers, but why would they do that? Have the execs been watching a little too much Oppenheimer? And do we have to start worrying about the world becoming just like the Fallout games, simply because Microsoft Teams is becoming too popular? Let's break down what this really means and why it might be a game changer for the tech world. Grab your hazmat suits and let's get into it. First off, what are data centers? Well, imagine a huge library. But instead of books, it's filled with servers that store, manage, and process our digital lives. That's a data center. It's where your selfies, your TikToks, and those top secret texts to your crush live when they're not on your device. Think about cloud storage services, online gaming like Xbox Live, and social media platforms. They depend on data centers. And let's not forget the heavy hitters like Netflix and YouTube, which we all use to procrastinate from homework. Uh, I mean, we all use for educational purposes. Now. Why do we even need these digital behemoths? Well, simple. Our entire online existence, from gaming to Instagramming to binge watching The Office for the umpteenth time, relies on the smooth operation of data centers. And let me tell you, the demand for data is skyrocketing. AI, it needs GPUs that gobble up power like there's no tomorrow. Cryptocurrency, they're mining away at energy resources like this hidden treasure. And let's be honest, in a way there is. All this power consumption means a massive heat problem, as anyone who's ever played PS4 will attest, the better the graphics, the louder the fan. And that also requires energy to run the fans faster and cool everything down. The power needs are just enormous. We're talking about data centers expected to double their electricity demands by 2026, to the point where they could match the energy consumption of an entire country, the country of Japan. Imagine powering up all of Japan's vending machines, bullet trains, and karaoke bars. That's a lot of energy. So why nuclear? Microsoft is thinking ahead. They're looking at small modular reactors, or SMRs, and micro reactors. Now, these aren't your grandpa's nuclear power plants. They're like sleek, compact smartphones of the reactor world. And the benefits? Well, they're reliable, they pump out tons of energy, and they're cleaner for the environment compared to fossil fuels. Can you say carbon footprint reduction, anyone? But uh, before you think Microsoft has gone full mad scientist, they've actually been eco-warrioring for a while. Do you remember when they sunk a data center off Scotland's coast for natural cooling? That was Project Natic. They've also been using hydroelectric power and even building data centers in chilly places like the Arctic for that sweet natural AC. Solar farms? They've done that too. Microsoft's not exactly new to the green scene, or I suppose the cost reduction scene. Okay, but safety, right? I know, I know. Nuclear power has a past. Radiation risks, nuclear waste, and not to mention some high profile oopsies that have happened. Hey. We all spent the summer hyped about Barbenheimer, and aside from a new appreciation for Ken, we also developed a healthy fear of the potential of nuclear power. But tech has come a long way, and today's SMRs are designed to be much, much safer. Plus, Microsoft is teaming up with Terra Praxis to make sure they can get these nuclear setups licensed and running smoothly and safely. Fast forward to the future, and what do we see? A world where data centers might be powered by clean and reliable and safe nuclear energy. Microsoft's move could be a game changer, not just for them, but the entire tech industry. They're stepping into uncharted waters, and it's going to be fascinating to see how it all unfolds. In conclusion, Microsoft going nuclear is a big deal. We're talking about a potential revolution in how we power our ever-growing digital infrastructure. With the company's new Director of Nuclear Development Acceleration, uh, yes, that is an actual job title, it's clear they're serious about this. Hey, Craig and Dave, can I change my job title to Director of Nuclear Development Acceleration here at Craig and Dave? No, 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 no. Yeah, probably sensible not to. No, 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 I know nothing about nuclear physics. No. I can program in Microsoft Basic, though. Well, what does this mean for the future? Will other tech giants follow suit? And could this be the solution we need for sustainable high output energy? In summary, Microsoft is exploring using nuclear power, now specifically small modular reactors, to meet the energy demands of their data centers. Data centers are essential for storing and processing the massive amounts of data we use for cloud services, for gaming, and for streaming. The energy needs of data centers are soaring due to advanced technologies like AI and cryptocurrencies, with predictions to match Japan's energy consumption by 2026. Microsoft has previously tried eco-friendly methods like underwater data centers and using renewable energy sources, and now aims to lead the tech industry in sustainable energy solutions with their move towards nuclear power. 
So what do you think about Microsoft's nuclear ambitions? Will I have become blue screen, the ender of unsaved work, be a thing? Or is this a solution to the tech world's growing energy needs? Are there better alternatives out there? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this dive into Microsoft's nuclear ambitions. Subscribe for more tech deep dives and leave a comment below with your thoughts on this nuclear powered future. Until next time, keep those reactors, uh, I mean your tech ambitions, running high.